ousted. She's been castigated. Uh, people have walked away from her because they know that what she did, what she said, was totally disrespectful, totally without um, honor, and uh, and certainly very crass and without any class whatsoever. Um, <laughs> the uh, I had a buddy today asked me about Bill Cosby and what I thought about Cosby. And he, this is a friend of mine who's connected in Hollywood. He's connected with, uh, you know, with people like I am um, who know Cosby, who know of Cosby, who've done business with Cosby, who've been around Cosby. And we know that these women were around Cosby to get drugs. Yeah, to get drugs and have sex with him. The... There is a a a lady who talks about how chivalry is dead in in America, and how women have have made it dead. But you know we try to play this chivalry game with American women, and you know I've always found as an adult adult man that there's not much virtuous, or not many American women. The majority of American women do not deserve the kind of chivalry and attention that we give them. They have no respect, no class, no consideration, and they're very hostile people. Even other women of, uh, from other countries, like I live in, a, in, a, in an area and in a building where there are a lot of foreign women, and they always talk about how pushy, aggressive, disrespectful American women are. And they really, truly, they are. And you men out there, you're just punks. You're sissies. You let them get away with being smart, being smart Alex, you know, talking to you any kind of way. I don't let them get away with that. And the reason I don't is because I'm a nice guy and I expect to be treated in a respectful manner at all times. And when these young women that I run into are, you know, sassy and disrespectful and I check them, you know, they look like, oh, my God, you know, a, a guy actually actually spoke uh, spoke up for himself. Yeah. Not going to play around with these chicks. And by the way, people, you need to understand that uh, if you want to be treated like a man, we're going to treat you like men, which means uh, you can get punched out for what you say. See, what women don't realize and what a lot of uh, what I would consider girly men don't realize today is that what you say can get you punched out. <laughs> totally. Boom. Uh, the, um, I'm going to pull up this article real quick uh, because it kind of drives home this whole thing about chivalry and and the Me Too movement and uh, Michelle Wolf and her nonsense. <laughs> Michelle Wolf, wow. I, I just had this, um, God, I just had this, um, <laughs> just had this article up about women and men. God, what did I do with it? What did I do with it? What did I do with it? It was, uh, it was on Fox and it was talking about how men. Oh, wow. <laughs> Snoop Dogg cousin issues a, 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 a crip alert for Kanye West. Wow. Oh, I'm scared. Kanye, you should be scared of these little punks. They're nothing but thugs. I'm sure you have professionals around you who will shoot most of them and have their crying mothers lying. Oh, they were good boys. They were just Crips out trying to do the Crip thing. <laughs> it's amazing these black mothers who have these boys and no husbands and no no fathers around, especially no husbands. The fathers are around. They have no husbands. Why you have a baby without a husband? I don't even know. 
all these black women, and I do mean 72% of black children born are born out of wedlock. Do, 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 do. Does that send a signal to anyone, a message to anyone? Now, Hispanic chicks are having babies out of wedlock. Now, you know, they used to be highly Catholic. So, you know, they were marrying first before they had a baby. Now, these chicks are popping babies out and getting on welfare. White women, still 28%. But, you know, a lot of white women at 28%, a lot of white women having babies out of wedlock. (laughs) Since they constitute, I think, uh, 46% of the population or something like that. Wow. Amazing, isn't it? Just amazing. I wish I could could, 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 uh, pull this article up. It was in... um, It was in... uh, um, it was in the, uh, oh, here it is right here. Susan, Suzanne. Hey, Suzanne, Suzanne Venter, Venker, Venker, V-E-N-K-E-R. She's written several books. In fact, Suzanne's been on my show in the past. But, you know, the show's so short now, you know, it's like, you know, uh, an hour. So, you know, I don't really have a lot of guests on like I used to because it cuts into what I want to share with you. But anyway. Susan, in this article, she, and you can find this article at foxnews.com right now in the opinion page, in the opinion page. So go over there, check it out. And she said, a friend of mine whose mother died recently was going through her parents' memorabilia and unearthed a Western Union telegram from 1954 that her father sent her mother just before they were married. And here's what it said. Darling. I shall be waiting for you at eight with a lifetime of expectancy. My heart will be coming with you down the aisle. May God be with us tonight as we pray. We will always be with him. Thank you for becoming my wife, my love forever yours, Henry. Wow. I love that. That's powerful. Then. Suzanne goes on to say that several days after she'd read this note, she came across a miserable tripe (laughs) on Facebook. And this is what it said. Chivalry is harmful to both men and women. This is is a chick in this video, right? Uh, Chivalry is harmful to both men and women. Who is she to make that statement? Some nobody, somebody who thinks that she can be a man. Punch her out. Let it let the let bust that lip. Let you taste your own blood and then think you you're equal to a man or you know, uh let's do whatever physically. Get you out of the office. I always say put on the cleats. When you get these chicks on cleats, it's something else. It's never the same. Anyway, in this video, this woman goes on to say, because it reinforces the idea that women need to be helped or saved by a strong man. It takes away from a woman's agency. Uh, this, vid- this video, by the way, is part of an unpopular opinion series on Facebook, a concept that in theory, some people would like to support, including, including Suzanne. She said, there's nothing unpopular about a video that sells the same tired message that feminists have sold for years. And subsequently, it became the status quo, that men and women are equal and therefore should be treated the same. I have no problem with that. You know, carry your own luggage, pick up your own junk, open your own doors. Hey, I don't need to look out for you. If you don't want me to look out for you, that's fine with me. There's just one less thing that I have to do. And and guys, since I've stopped consciously being chivalrous, except to my friends, it relieves that pressure. It relieves the tension. You know, you just walk. You would be surprised how many women walk into me because I don't stop and allow them to walk before me or pass before me like gentlemen are supposed to do. But women, on the other hand, are supposed to say, excuse me, or thank you, or uh, thank you, sir, but they don't. And that's why I treat them the way that I do. And you should too, guys. Stop being wusses. Stop being sissy men, girly men, and letting these chicks run over you. I remember once I was playing uh, tennis with a friend of mine. This is back about 19. It was the, it, I'll tell you what, exactly when it was. It was the summer that Forrest Gump came out. 
whenever that was, the, the movie Forrest Gump. So, because we were here in Chicago, and, and I had flown in from uh, San Diego for an alpha convention, and she'd flown up to spend some time with me. And uh, so it was 1994, to be exact, 1994, summer of 94. So I'm staying downtown on Michigan Avenue and uh, in the Blackstone Hotel. And uh, my friend's with me. We decided to go across the street and play tennis because I was playing tennis a lot then. So I traveled with my tennis racket, you know, a few balls. So we go and we're playing tennis and we're having a nice um, um, game of tennis, casual game of tennis. And she says to me, well, you know, Charles, I can I can beat you playing tennis. I said, no, you really can't. I said, we're just, you know, I'm just playing you like I'd play a girl. And she said, well, let's play. And so what I did was I beat, I played her like I would play a guy and I spanked that butt. Okay. I said, you know, but see, chicks don't understand that we tone down what we do to play them. See, women don't play in the NBA. Women don't play division one college ball. They don't play division one or division two or division three. They don't play men in anything at any level because guess what? They can't compete. So you look at uh, Cheryl Miller, whom I love to watch play at, when she was at SC. Uh, Cheryl Miller, Reggie Miller's sister, was probably one of the best basketball players that you'd ever want to watch. I, I enjoyed watching her, even though she was a girl. I can't say that for any other girl. I couldn't say that for Candace Parker. She wasn't interesting to watch. I mean, you look at the WNBA, it hasn't taken off. It hasn't taken off for a reason. People aren't interested in seeing women play sports like that. Now, women's tennis, I love women's tennis. I like the women's game more than the man's game, actually, because they have different personalities. And I love Venus and Serena Williams, of course. Um, and, of course, I love Federer. Who doesn't love Roger Federer? But uh, at the end of the day, Federer's fell, fallen off a little bit since he's gotten married. And then this guy, Doviak, whom I can't stand for some reason, because he got a big head once he started winning. Um, so I love women's tennis because of not only the game, but the, uh, the personalities in, in the game. And I think you probably do and should too. So, but I was just relaying that to say that this article on chivalry is really interesting. And you should check it out because uh, Suzanne is very clear. She said that uh, she goes on to say that um, women can open their own doors, pull out their own chairs, take care of themselves. Women have argued for years. I'm strong enough to do all these things. Notes the woman in the video who identified herself as Emily Panic as she flexes her arm muscles. I mean, how chicks, I mean, really? Please. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Oh wow. Uh, Susan makes Suzanne makes this this claim. She says men only change because women did. That's because men are born to please women. Modern women don't know this. For they've been conditioned to think of men as oppressors. But it's true that women think of men as oppressors. Now, you have to understand, this has been going on in the black community I don't know how long, but I can tell you this, that because um, black women contribute to the household and in many times had the, the better education of between men and women, they often ran things, unlike in white households. So look, we're going to take a little break. It's our music. Bum, bum, bum. We'll be back and uh, finish up on this chivalry dead in America. It should be. Let these women be treated as equals. We'll be right back. Red State Talk Radio is now available as a voice command on your Amazon Echo and Echo Dot by simply saying, Alexa, play Red State Talk Radio. Red State Talk Radio on TuneIn. Turn to every single American. Now, we've been hearing all these stories about sanctuary cities, <laughs> sanctuary cities. That you can now find us on the Amazon Echo and Echo Dot on TuneIn, on iHeartRadio, and we also have the phone apps in the App Store for your particular phone. And just in case we activated your Echo Dot, 
Alexa, stop. Hi, you want to end those expensive cable bills for good? At VIP TV, we offer unlimited HD quality streaming of over 900 channels on five devices at the same time for $39 a month on a pay-as-you-go basis. You can watch it on your big TV with Amazon Fire Stick or TV, Roku, Comcast, Android, gaming consoles, as well as laptops and tablets. You can use an HDMI cable to connect PC to the TV or smart TV via Wi-Fi. Once you've enjoyed the benefits of VIP TV, you can sign up for the service as a customer or business partner with a customized website $39 or $59 a month. Visit orderviptv.com forward slash the reality check. That's orderviptv.com forward slash the reality check. Any questions, just email us at the reality check viptv at gmail.com. Stop wasting time and money and sign up now. Cancel cable for good. Hey, this is Leonora Cravota from Red State Talk Radio for My Pillow. I used to have trouble sleeping. My Pillow changed all that. I now fall asleep within moments of my head touching my pillow. That's how comfortable My Pillow is with its patented interlocking fill. My Pillow stays cool and does not go flat. Plus, it's machine washable and dryable. My Pillow has a 10-year warranty and a 60-day comfort guarantee. My Pillow is also the official pillow of the National Sleep Foundation, and it's made right here in the USA. My Pillow is now offering Red State Talk Radio listeners a four-pack special with two premium standard or queen pillows and two go anywhere pillows that's four pillows for the price of one to take advantage of this special offer call 1-800-961-9194 and ask for promo code red state that's 1-800-961-9194 promo code red state put sleepless nights behind you with my pillow the most comfortable pillow you will ever own for the best night's sleep in the whole wide world is it mine You know, I love that music. I love that music. You know, it it reminds me of home. It reminds me of Detroit, Michigan. Detroit. <laughs> yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, but look, folks, you know, as we wind our way through um, through the, the set here, I'm looking at... Uh, I'm looking at uh, this article, and we're going to finish this up right now. Um, the uh, uh, Suzanne goes through a couple of things, and she says, you know, what's the deal with guys giving up their seats on the subway, she adds. If you do give me your seat, well, she said, if you do give me your seat and I take it, I don't have to talk to you. Please don't talk to me, okay? I got like 20 podcasts loaded on my iPod I'd rather listen to than you. That it's not meant to be mean. I just don't want to talk to you. Wow. That's this, what this lady said in this uh, video. She said the stark contrast between the uh, Western Union Telegram, which I read earlier, and this video depicts modern gender relations and it speaks volumes. Wow. If there's one theme in common in the media today about relationships between men and women, it's the claim that there are no good meant marriageable men left. Well, gee, I wonder why that is. That's what this lady says. Hey, I'm telling you, man, the, these young men that I know, they are so cool. They're like, hey, man. You know, I, I don't bother these chicks. I just let them run the show, whatever they want to do. That's fine. And then I have no obligation. If they want to have sex, fine. If they don't want to have sex, fine. I move to the next one because there are tons of women out here. And they're all doing their own thing at their own pace. And I just go from chick to chick to chick without any obligation. Women don't understand that they're really the losers in that game, because at the end of the day, 
guys are guys, girls are girls, and nobody wants to be with a woman who's promiscuous. That's just the way it is. I mean, you know, like I often say, women went through a sexual revolution. Guys did not, especially here in America. You know, we, we tend to be very prudish as guys here in America. <laughs> anyway. Um, Suzanne says, funny though, funny thing though, the equality Mimi hasn't translated to women paying for their own dinner or asking men to marry them. Why is that? Could it be deep down women know something's lost when men and women are viewed as the same? Could, could it be there was something special about men being men and women being women? Great question, Suzanne. She said that in the days when men were chivalrous, women held a different kind of power than they do today. That's what I was talking about. The feminine power was far more potent uh, than the power a woman gleans in the marketplace. Totally. Totally. Because when, when, when you were dealing with that woman, that special person in your life, you know, she held and holds uh, a position that only your mother has. You know, it's, it's, it's uh, unchallenged. It's, it's unconditional in many cases, especially when you're, uh, when you're locked in. You know, like I can remember dating uh, a woman in San Diego. Uh, her name was Donna. That's all I'm going to say. And people who know me know who Donna is. And I love Donna, love her to death. Uh, never married Donna, but uh, that was very complex and convoluted. But um, she holds a special place uh, in my life even today, uh, like, you know, like your wife does. You know, she holds a very special place in your life. And uh, it's a bond that you, regardless of who she's with or who she's married to, she still has a very special place with me. Um, as I do with her, I'm sure. And it has nothing to do with sex. It's about feelings and emotion, things like that. And that's what this lady's talking about when she talks about that potent power. But women have, lo have lost that because we don't make those connections anymore because we don't need to. We don't need to avail ourselves. We don't need to be the protector. We can come in and do what we want and leave without any sense of obligation. Um, Going back to the article, she said that, uh, but women don't access that power, that special power, and they reject masculinity as well. Today's universities are, in fact, offering programs uh, specifically designed to squash male nature. Only in America <laughs> will we let some junk like that <laughs> gender neutral oh and it's the, the the thing to be today is bisexual because you know you have the best of both worlds i mean i've heard people put forth that that argument <laughs> how crazy are they men are men women are women and men aren't made to have sex a certain way and neither are women god you know, it's very clear about that. And our bodies are designed a certain way to accommodate certain things. Um, <laughs> and so Suzanne goes on and she says, well, and still, women wonder why there are no more Henrys. Mature, respectful, marriage-minded men like him have vanished. And can we blame them? And I say no. Well, you know, Suzanne, like I said, she had been on my show. She had written a book back in 2012. Uh, about women and them having the power to change uh, their uh, feminist diatribe and get back to being uh, women and 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 everyone being uh, happy because you know different women have different uh, different people have different roles and a, a man's role is certainly not uh, raising children. I'm sorry. And some women can't raise children today. These women are so inept. I'm alone with the children. I just can't believe I'm here all by myself. Please, shut up. You know, these women are so, they're not, they can't even do their own job. 
Let's alone try to do my job. And that's what they try to do. They, you know, they want to take out the garbage and they want to, you know, do the things that the guys do. Go ahead. Be my guest. See ya. Relieve me of that stuff. And I can go do whatever the hell I want to do when I get ready to do it. And guess what? I enjoy that immensely. Most guys do. So we're not going to combat you. We're not going to fight you for equality. We're going to let you think you're equal. And then we'll play that boys game. We'll, we'll elevate it to the guy's level, the guy's intensity. And women are not as intense as guys or as animalistic as guys. At the end of the day, you're still chicks. Um, anyway, so let's talk about uh, Netanyahu. BB, it's going to be interesting. Let me go out here real quick and go to the Guardian and see what they have to say about BB because a lot of people are saying that BB's lying about this. Um, excuse me for laughing, but about the uh, Iran situation, right? So I'm, I'm sitting here and I'm checking this out, right? I'm going, okay. Uh, can we believe BB? And they're going, oh, well, you know, the CIA is saying, well, some, some people in the CIA, some undisclosed people are saying, well, it's old news. Well, if it's old news, why are we just hearing about it? Look, uh, like I said, we're going to see what some other people are saying about it outside of America. Go over to BBC and places like that. But we'll be right back. bills for good at VIP TV we offer unlimited HD quality streaming of over 900 channels on five devices at the same time for $39 a month on a pay-as-you-go basis you can watch it on your big TV with Amazon Fire Stick or TV Roku Comcast Android gaming consoles as well as laptops and tablets. you can use an HDMI cable to connect PC to the TV or smart TV via Wi-Fi once you've enjoyed the benefits of VIP TV you can sign up for the service as a customer or business partner with a customer Customized website $39 or $59 a month. Visit orderviptv.com forward slash the reality check. That's orderviptv.com forward slash the reality check. Any questions, just email us at the reality check viptv at gmail.com. Stop wasting time and money and sign up now. Cancel cable for good.
Nothing out here in uh, in London. Uh, let me see if I can check the Times real quick, the London Times, about BB and what he's talking about. But here in the States, you know, depending on who you talk to, like if it's Fox, they're saying, oh, well, this is earth shattering news. And, you know, we Iran is violated the agreement and then CNN you have these people going well no they haven't really violated any agreements we we think that it's better to to, to be to have them in bed with us than you, know, you just don't know what to think a lot of times and uh, <laughs> it's going to be interesting that's all I can say it's going to be interesting to see what um, Donald Trump does with that information that BB so eloquently uh, presented yesterday. He talked about how the uh, Iranians are building weapons of mass destruction and nuclear weapons, and we need to be on alert. He's probably right. The Iranians, as others, have consistently lied to us about their intentions and what they want to do like the North Koreans. I don't trust the North Koreans. I don't trust the Chinese. I don't trust the Japanese. There's no reason to trust these people. At the end of the day, they, after all, are the inscrutable, inscrutable, inscrutable Oriental. <laughs> That's what they used to call them on. <laughs> Charlie Chan. You ever watch that? Those movies, the old Charlie Chan movies. Now they would be considered highly racist, highly stereotypical. No more stereotypical than Gone with the Wind or, you know, the movies that Step and Fetch it appeared in. Amazing. That's all I can say. Truly, truly, truly amazing. Um, BB, man, that guy is, um, you know, he's such an extortionist. You know, he's, he's always selling himself, in my opinion, to the highest bidders. And um, <laughs> oh, man, he's always selling himself to the, to the highest bidder. You know, he, he wants to keep war going because war is profitable. Peace is not profitable. Peace is not uh, money making for these guys, you know, whether it's BB or Arafat, you know, it's peace and peace is not profitable. Um. You know, one of the things they are talking about in the British press, though, is a lot Islamophobia, and they're and they're talking about it being an issue in the British press. Well, let's be clear, folks. When we talk about these Arabs and these Islamists, they're first of all the Imams are lying, because Islam is not a peace a religion of peace. There's nothing peaceful about Islam. Anything that you read, it's about warring with the infidels killing infidels <laughs> and the imams come on well we're trying no you're trying to spread uh, islam is what you're trying to do and you have these stupid westerners who refuse to read the passages of the quran and take them for what they say which is to kill jews and christians that's what the islamic religion talks about killing jews and christians doesn't talk about coexisting with jews and christians talks about the caliphate and 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 making uh, Islam the religion of the world. Please, these people are backwards. They're in the Stone Ages, and that's where we need to send them all back to the Stone Age. Uh, and certainly they don't belong in democracies, that's for sure. But the Brits are talking about that today in the paper. They're talking about... Uh, Islamophobia and how it's a real problem in in uh, uh, Britain. And this woman, uh, Sadia Wazi, she accuses the UK press of hate speech and and uh, Islamophobia. Well, you should be phobic of Islam. <laughs> this lady was a former Tory minister, and. Uh, they said that she eviscerated the Sun and the Times for extraordinarily irresponsible coverage. No, they factually covered 
Islam and what was happening with Islam. And, um, and it's not hate speech to report the truth about Islam. And she goes on to talk about the press had become a plague with Muslims, the principal target. She gave examples in the uh, Daily Express, the Daily Mail, the Sun-Times, and in, in her speech. So the bottom line here is for me, uh, Islam is what Islam is, and it is a uh, very uh, hostile, dangerous to non-Muslims religion. Uh, you know, that's the way it is. That's how it's practiced in the Middle East. And that's why we have all this chaos and turmoil. And the only thing that these people understand is to send them to meet Muhammad and the, the virgins and the whole nine yards. Take them out. <laughs> you know, take them out. But uh, Warzi said hate was a daily reality for Muslims in Britain in 2017, adding that in sections of our press, it's relentless and deliberate. No, they're just reporting what's going on. She went on to say steadily and methodically using paper inches and columns to create feed and ratchet up suspicions and hostilities in our society, driving communities apart and creating untold and unnecessary fear and distress. Well, and then she goes on to say, Poisoning our public discourse, making it impossible to have sensible discussions about real challenges, crowding out tolerance, reason, and understanding. Tolerance for what? For Sharia law? Tolerance for what? For you people invading a country? Tolerance for what? For you not uh, abiding by the customs of a country that you've, you've adopted as your home? You come in and you dictate to these people what they need to do, as we have allowed religions to do here in, in, in America? You know, the Jewish religion, you used to didn't celebrate Jewish holidays. Now all of a sudden we're celebrating Jewish holidays and kids are getting out of school for Jewish holidays. Next it'll be where well, they'll be getting out of school for Muslim holidays. And it goes on and on and on. Question is, where does it stop? Damn it. Where does it stop? Don't know. Um, but, uh, <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm gonna gonna go back to, uh, to the the uh, a couple of things that that I wanted to talk about about the border situation. You know, these people think that somehow they they didn't stop in Mexico and say they want to live in Mexico. They didn't stop in Guatemala say they want to live in Guatemala. They say they want to come here to America because they get food stamps and they get a house. And if they're refugees, they get all kinds of perks. Are you? <laughs> I want to be a damn refugee, okay? Uh, you know, look at those. If you don't believe me, look at um, the the, the, uh, the the Boston Marathon bombers, the um, uh, what well, the Sanaya brothers. You know, they lived in a great neighborhood. You know, two story home, five bedrooms, Mercedes Benz in the driveway. This is a guy who came over here as a damn refugee. How many Americans get that leg up? How many Americans get that kind of start? I mean, really? See, we are always ready and able to bend over for illegals, for immigrants, but we will we refuse to help our own citizens, poor whites, poor blacks, who built this country. Their poor whites and poor blacks are the ones who go and, and the poor uh, Hispanics have gone. And, and, you know, Asians don't tend to be that poor usually, but they, they too, in smaller numbers, have all gone out and fought for this country and built this country. And then we get these brown people from God knows wherever and, and, these, and these Eastern Europeans who come in here and they take every damn thing. They take all the services. They, we're, we're refugees. They won't even tell us what that means to a, a refugee in terms of dollars. You ever notice that? They never say, well, we resettle these people and we give them a house and we give them a stipend. And we, they never say that. Question is why? The question is why are we doing that when there are Americans here who are going without? When there are Americans here, regardless of their 
ethnicity. I'm talking about citizenship. I'm talking about I'm talking about Americans who cannot get a leg up, get a handout, get their life together because we're too busy talking about some damn immigrants and some illegals and some damn refugees. We need to have a revolution. And I don't care how that revolution takes place, to tell you the truth. It should be by any means necessary. Start with the ballot box. But you have people like Paul Ryan, who gets elected as a conservative, who's never conservative, who talks and espouses conservatism, but never uh, puts forth legislation that way and never fights for legislation that's conservative. But he, you know, he constantly tells me, well, I'm a Republican. Yeah. You know, the Republican Party, I, I heard uh, this man, um, uh, uh, Kasich. I cannot stand John Kasich. I have always detested John Kasich, the governor now of Ohio. Couldn't stand him when he was a congressman. He was a lying person then. He comes on TV Sunday and he says, well, the Republican Party has left me. I didn't leave the Republican Party. No, John. You were never part of the Republican Party. You only ran in the Republican Party so that you could get elected. You've never had Republican principles. You've never uh, put forth conservative values and supported conservative causes. So this guy stays in the race when Donald Trump's running. This guy stays in the race because he hopes that the American people will turn to him, will turn to him. Red State Talk Radio is now available as a voice command on your Amazon Echo and Echo Dot by simply saying, Alexa, play Red State Talk Radio. Red State Talk Radio on TuneIn. Turn to every single American. Now, we've been hearing all these stories about sanctuary cities, sanctuary cities. That you can now find us on the Amazon Echo and Echo Dot on TuneIn, on iHeartRadio, and we also have the phone apps in the App Store for your particular phone. And just in case we activated your Echo Dot, Alexa, stop. You want to end those expensive cable bills for good? At VIP TV, we offer unlimited HD quality streaming of over 900 channels on five devices at the same time for $39 a month on a pay-as-you-go basis. You can watch it on your big TV with Amazon Fire Stick or TV, Roku, Comcast, Android, gaming consoles, as well as laptops and tablets. You can use an HDMI cable to connect PC to the TV or smart TV via Wi-Fi. Once you've enjoyed the benefits of VIP TV, you can sign up for the service as a customer or business partner with a customized website $39 or $59 a month. Visit orderviptv.com forward slash the reality check. That's orderviptv.com forward slash the reality check. Any questions, just email us at the reality check viptv at gmail.com. Stop wasting time and money and so sign up now. Be- Cancel cable for good. Hey, this is Leonora Cravota from Red State Talk Radio for My Pillow. I used to have trouble sleeping. My pillow changed all that. I now fall asleep within moments of my head touching my pillow. That's how comfortable my pillow is with its patented interlocking fill. My pillow stays cool and does not go flat. Plus, it's machine washable and dryable. My pillow has a 10 year warranty and a 60 day comfort guarantee. My pillow is also the official pillow of the National Sleep Foundation, and it's made right here in the USA. My pillow is now offering Red State Talk Radio listeners a four pack special with two premium standard or queen pillows and two go anywhere pillows that's four pillows for the price of one to take advantage of this special offer call 1-800-961-9194 and ask for promo code red state that's 1-800-961-9194 promo code red state put sleepless nights behind you with my pillow the most comfortable pillow you will ever own for the best night's sleep in the whole wide world is my
Got about uh, five or six minutes here, and I want to talk about this caravan that came up from Central America and is in Tijuana. I say turn them around, send them all back. You know, I don't care that Donald Trump called Mexicans coming here, rapists and drug dealers. I don't care. I've never cared about that because I knew exactly what he's talking about. He wasn't talking about all of them. You saw about these people bring this uh, the, this behavior with them to our country. Besides that, they're poor and ignorant. Who wants them here? We have enough poor, ignorant people here already. Did I say that? Yeah, I did. Think about it. Think about these young people that haven't read, who, who, who get out of, out of high school and can't read. Think of these young people who um, get out of high school or don't finish high school and basically have no skills. Think about these young people who go to college and they have no social skills. They can't communicate because they were too busy texting and, and, and their, and their, uh, uh, what do you call it? Their non, their verbal school skills are not developing. That's what they're finding now with these young people. Or, or you get on the phone and you try to talk to a customer service person and, and they start making things up. Like today I'm talking to a guy about, my Amazon Fire Stick, um, I'm sorry, my Amazon Fire TV remotes, and I'm telling, and I told him that uh, basically I, we did the troubleshooting. Both remotes were bad, and they were going to, and Amazon said they were going to send me two new remotes, which I haven't received yet. He comes back and says, "Well, you were supposed to return two remotes." Blah 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 blah. And I said to him, where did that come from? No one ever said, uh, it talked to me about returning anything. Uh, and then he just kept making stuff up. So, you know, you really can't talk to people. And these millennials, they make, they make things up. Is it that they're assuming that something happened that didn't happen? And you know what? I try to tell these people, I say, stick to the facts, man. Didn't happen. You know, I'm not interested in what you think happened. Let me, let's just talk about the facts. You know, you know, I, I think they, they, they get that from talking to their mothers or their fathers that somehow you're supposed to tolerate their uh, assumptions. I don't do assumption well when I'm talking business. Let's just stick to the facts and get this over with because I don't want to talk to you anyway. So I finally, you know, <laughs> I cussed this young man out. I literally cussed him out. And uh, felt good too. I, I must add, it felt it felt real good. You know, my blood pressure didn't go up, and people always go, "Well, you know, you're going to get your blood pressure up, Charles, by you know acting like that." No, it's a release. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, it was a release, and uh, like I said, I got that out of my system and moved on, um, and moved on, moved on quite expeditiously, but I did get the uh, remote sent to me. The lady gave me a credit and then just, you know, told me to go online, sign in my Amazon account and reorder just the remotes. And they would give me a credit for the remotes, which I did. The remotes will be here in two days. You know how long it took me to get that accomplished? It took me five phone calls and talking to five different people. And I must've spent a couple of hours. I said, I can just, I can spend 54 bucks and get it done without all the aggravation. But the question becomes why? Anyway, you know, that's, that's become life in America. We have these, all of these, and you know, and, and, and this guy, he, you know, had this accent today and you know, I'm like, your accent isn't cute and I'm not impressed. You know, what I need you to do is to do your damn job. You know, he was offended. I mean, I could care less, man, you know, about your being offended, you know, but these, uh, these people on the border, turn them around, send them home, catch and release my behind. You know, Barack Obama had a policy of catching these people and releasing them into the country because that was the humane thing to do. He's such a, I detest Barack Obama with every pore in my body. Let me repeat that. I detest Barack Obama with every pore in my body. The guy was a total loser. The guy was a total anti-American president. He hated America, hated everything about us. 
He was an Indonesian by culture. He was a Muslim by religion who converted to Christianity. If you don't believe me, go back and just Google Barack Obama converts to Christianity because that's what he said when he was questioned about his religion because he knew too many people knew that he'd been a Muslim and he'd gone around portraying himself as a Muslim. Hey, look, we got about 30 seconds here. So we're going to go ahead and start easing out um, and want to thank you for being with us today. Give us a call tomorrow. Write it down, 215-867-8255, 215-867-8255. Tomorrow we're going to have Frank Venusio with us, my good friend, um, Dr. London, uh, is in the hospital. I want to wish him uh, uh, good spirits and hope he's home soon. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Okay. All righty. We're gone. Boom. We're gone. We're gone. Hang up. Okay. Close out. And, oh, man. I didn't record it. Shoot. Hey, I'll go over here and uh, let's see. Boom. We go over here and there we go. Okay. In the show.